Welcome back. She's been waxing quickly <laughs> about that thing. Episode 22. Two. Two. Three. Somewhere around that ballpark figure. We are looking up facts and figures about welfare and assisted living programs. And what are we on? I am personally vested in this because of the amount of fucking money that comes out of my paycheck. Every fucking two weeks. Yeah, that's a lot. Of it's money. like the amount of taxes is bullshit. It feels like. I think there's certain people we should. I feel like as a community, don't. take care of for sure. Not this many. No. We're way over. We're way fucking overspending. But there's certain people. We should help yeah, people look, who again, percent of the U.S. population on whatever programs, twenty-one percent. It's nowhere near forty-nine, dude. That would be. But that's crazy. one in five. I see well, five right. people. That's better than one in two. Yeah, but I see five people in this room. I mean. How many of us have used food stamps at one point or another? Um, I've applied, but been denied. Not food stamp unemployment. I was on unemployment. Yeah. Everybody Maybe in here. Had, that doesn't matter. The government is living. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in here. That's what I'm saying. If you put it at the fact of how many people have used it, or you mean how many are on it right now. Maybe. That is a that is a monthly accumulation of a, an amount of Americans. So a month, they're saying per, in a month they did a, a month, check. 21%. How many were... Okay, so that's not. So I'm saying over time, how many of people in America, 49 percent of Americans, have used government assistance at one point or another? Then I don't know. Well, you know what I mean, but not like not like in that month it or you know whatever. And what month is that? Is that like the least month? No, that's an average of all the months. That's an average. How do you know that? Do you just know that? That's how they would do. Does yeah, it that's just how just it just say that? that? Yeah. Just. <laughs> how the numbers work. Sounds like somebody. Knows. Per month, the average <laughs> amount of people in the U.S. that use government assistance or welfare programs. This is for welfare, which I mean, it is a form of government assistance, which is one, but 21.2%. Total federal government spending on welfare programs annually, that's yearly, $158 million, billion, $200 million. Man, Jesus. $158 oh, I don't, billion. I don't have any problem paying these taxes for these programs or whatnot, but I'd like to know where my money goes. I would like to choose what I fund my, with my money. I was wrong. What were you wrong about? Uh, the population, like the race with the high population of... White people don't use it the most. Is that what you're trying to tell me? I thought it was white people use it the most, yeah, because we have a higher least population. Compared to mixed, and whatever, that's mixed, that's a mutual yeah. different races or whatever How many people but, actually put down other but see this is what's regulated and what's there's a lot that's not regulated there's a lot that, that see the problem is with people who work we don't have a choice of how much is being taken from us they just take it from us so when it's taken from us we're upset about it because well it's just getting taken from us there's no talk about it there's no well, this doesn't make sense. You don't There's tell no, me where it goes. You don't tell me where it goes. You, where nothing. It it's just, hey, yo, this is government taxes. You don't need to know about Whoa. this. Whoa. Okay, this blows my mind. That doesn't work right. out for me. Total number of U.S. states where welfare pays more than an $8 per hour job. 39. Well, that shit, is more why than would that. I go to work for $8 an hour when I could sit my ass on the couch and collect more? Exactly. Exactly the, the mindset of most Americans fucking stupid some of the i mean yeah it's bad but oh, six Holy states shit. pay it pays more than 12 dollars an hour six states it pays more than 12 dollars <laughs> an hour states are these? we need to move <sighs> colorado one i don't know it doesn't list them we I should look into that no I'm just kidding. all all i'm saying is that you know elderly people i believe should should definitely have this disabled people disabled people should definitely have this uh, people with mental disabilities should have this. It's Proven it's mental disabled. disabilities. It's disabled. Well, not necessarily. I mean disabled as in like you can't walk. You uh, can have a okay. mental thing, but you can't walk in your legs. I think that person needs a little bit of help. For sure. My, my point is the people who don't need help are the guys who is just like me, but he's lazy and I'm not. Those are the only two differences. That dude needs to get his ass up and go to work. I don't even really have a problem with that. It's I do. The, it's the people that you know them and I know them that use the system and still work a forty-hour job. Yeah, that shit pisses me both off. Of them. Ooh. Oh, like what the fuck? Well, they're in really big. 
they probably in really bad situations. They're not living in nice homes, obviously. Because no, he just he, no. The guy I know just cleared out, uh, took a loan from his four hundred one k, bought himself a house, and then you know the way he's got his common law marriage set up with his illegal wife, he's got her on all the welfare programs because she doesn't have a job, so she makes nothing. So he pays no groceries. Yeah, he pays no nothing. This is a per- I I know somebody who has like literally having kids to have that more. Yeah. Tax, yeah. Oh, we all do that. Yeah. yeah, I know people. Yeah. It's like it's like like zero said. I know the new hustle is for no people to have for these bitch to have babies for doing that. Busted for collecting disability checks, but still working a forty hour job. And the reason I say bitches, I mean and like pay forty grand back to me. Damn. Boom. To me, that's a bitch thing to do. Like yeah. like if you're sitting there having children you to pay your way out of your own pocket. In a way, yeah. In a way. You're still paying taxes on that shit that you're claiming. Yeah. Which doesn't make... You're collecting welfare, but you're also working and getting taxed well, this, for this... the program that you're using. But you're still making more off of that combo of what, funds yeah, than you are to be taken money. away. True. Because you're not... Really... I just wouldn't want to take from myself. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense. Can I just give it back to me now? Yeah. <sighs> you know what I mean? Not after it gets flushed through the system. You know? And maybe if I get approved. I just yeah, don't understand. I just don't understand the how we're making money. <laughs> we're making. You're, we're crediting money we don't even have for money we haven't even made, and you owe us for that money that's not made. Hmm? That's amazing to me. It'll be like that forever. Isn't that crazy? Unless we change something. Nah, I, I would say that. it's gonna be like that forever, but like if people don't wake the fuck up and start getting control, we've tried as a shit as a society to move away from fractional reserve banking several times. And it's only it's just too deep really. it work Thank you, Rothschild. I'm just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Rothschild. <laughs> Thank you, Rothschild. Centralized banking. You're awesome. Not. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. You greedy son of bitches. Sam bitches. <laughs> Somebody told me the other day that it, it, I want to know if this is true, but very true. If you what? could, you would. There's a million well, people without water. There's a billion people without access to clean water. Yes. To yeah. water, like you can't drink water. Like when you say clean water, I'm talking about this ain't purified or zarka. No, no, I'm talking okay. about water that don't give you malaria or give you yeah. hepatitis C. Oh boy. Or give you sepsis. A lot of that's in like Africa, Amazon, mm-hmm. shit like that. Though. Shit's going on here. You I don't even believe you that. Well, like Michigan. Water. Yeah, yeah, but it's not a million people. That's what hundreds of thousands. Yeah, yeah but we have water. He said in Michigan. Michigan. We got water. And has that been resolved? I'm pretty sure that was resolved, right? Is that all no. oil? I'm it still sure. hasn't been resolved. Detroit has never been resolved and will never. Flint, no, I'm talking about the water. Flint water. will not. They won't do anything about it. Well, it probably cost you way can. too much money to fix it. Yes, the infrastructure is totally fucked. Well, I don't care how fucked it is. You've got to fix that goddamn Everybody water. People need water. No, those water. people need to move away from those and sell those houses and get them new houses and build them for them for free. They are doing that. You can buy a what do you four think bedroom house for $500. Yeah, but what do you think is cheaper? Build yeah, all those Michigan. people new houses Garden to City, move Michigan. them or just fix the infrastructure? I bet we should move them. <laughs> I'd move to Garden uh, City, Michigan. Hold probably on. a better I idea. there from here. Or is it for all those people that live in the Maybe state? give them a tax I'm break. Sure you can. <laughs> okay, why don't we just all buy houses for $5? $500. Oh, $500 still. I have, yeah. I have 500 it? bucks laying around. Buy a house where in Chicago? No. Can well, I put it on Detroit. stilts and move yeah, it? Just in Detroit? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we can slow down and fix it up. And all right, but let's get serious. Once the shit gets back. Real question. So, mm-hmm. has the situation in Flint, Michigan ever been handled? Like, taken care of? They ever... They didn't do it just later. Dude, you have years and years of fucked up pipes that all this water and all the gas, sewage, everything is running through. And it's all getting corroded. How are you going to fix the entire infrastructure? infrastructure? You're fucked. The whole city. The whole city. Well, dude, when I was there, so they're thinking it's a couple years away. Around 2019. Like 2019, they should have all the things. They'll be pulling away from all the lead. How much money is this costing? Money they don't have. But that's what I'm saying. We're spending it as fast as we're getting it. That's or, I'm sorry, we don't even. Way yeah, fast. way faster than we're getting it. Well, if that's still being handled, in debt. yeah, but if that's, well, that's that assuming that money. it's on a federal, that, that the federal government's like that. paying for that, that's probably still being funded on a state level. So that's not touching our. Where's our enforcers? Shouldn't they be collecting? Enforcers, <laughs> give me my fucking money. You know what I'm saying? Send the guy over there. Send old Leroy over there. Put a strong arm on him. You gonna pay me now? 
All right, I'll take half this week. You know, that kind of stuff just needs to happen. You got. But I, I doubt it. We probably <laughs> owe. We probably owe, and we are probably in more debt to other countries than we actually owe back to ourselves. God, yeah, man. I think China holds the largest amount of U.S. debt. Four hundred million. Yeah. Okay. So. Time.com says it may cost $400 million, and then um, right below that, USA Today says $300, $300 billion. Billion. That's a yeah, large hop and a skip Today away. Has been caught making okay, making so I'll go with labor. fucking Time.com. Jesus, that's a lot. I'm of just money. saying, if it's, th- if it's $300 billion, just move. Buy them new houses. Should be cheaper. Way cheaper. It's weird, man. Should be a government contract. Dude, it's so new city weird. built by it's government. weird what's going on there, dude. Government's backing out. Nobody wants to help nobody. Organized crime is taking over, as well as, like, a gentrification of Detroit. You want a gentrification? Yes, but it's all going on at the same time, so it's like, what the fuck? It's crazy. Yeah, it's very corrupt, too. Like, the politicians, like, their mayor mayor was arrested a couple years ago. Uh He was indicted for what? Was it, um... Like cooking books and taking bribes and all kind of like money embezzlement and shit like that. It's crazy. So I, I just don't think it, it's very. Uh, yeah, we should definitely move the city. They, they got seven million dollars in of just uh, donation money mm-hmm. from like people from across the country. They said. Yeah, but seven million is nowhere near as three hundred yeah, billion. Yeah, below that, the state just appropriated another hundred and fifty million towards helping to fix flood water. Michigan governor signs budget with 165 million. Yeah. Well, I, I think it should get fixed. I should think it should get taken care of. But what about all the other ones that are out here in the world, like all across America? Our water. And Houston? I, I think it should Houston. definitely Houston. Houston. A lot of people don't understand that in Houston. Yeah, we're not. You know, a lot of the cities that people are considered all our pipes are bad. We've been there for like 30 years. Yes, they haven't been maintenance in 30 years, but there's a lot of lot worse than that. A lot worse than that. But I think we should be going over the ones that are a lot worse. Because if something bad happens or something goes wrong with those pipes, I think a lot of people in a lot of areas are screwed. <laughs> Dude. If, if any type of meteor were to come and hit. Meteor. We're screwed. Asteroid meteor. But what probably. is the chances of a meteor hitting us? Can anybody get that? Uh, yeah, our, yeah, our if we go, if no. we go, there's a certain part of our cycle around the sun I think that we go through a thing called the hyper belt Kuiper belt Kuiper. yeah and it's full of fucking asteroids and shit and we always miss them each year by like a fraction a very yeah. close distance and it just takes one year or a little bit off kilter and we'll smack right into them yeah but it's funny that little little bit off kilter thing I just don't think it has yeah. happened in how many years of existence well the last big meteor that hit was that one in Russia yeah it wasn't even that big. That one broke up in the atmosphere, luckily. Otherwise, it would have fucked some shit up. And they didn't know about it until three days before. Yeah, and that's bad. We need much better... We need better lead times. We really need months. For like one but th- when you're talking about a meter, it's probably moving... <laughs> Hundreds of thousands Hundreds of thousands. Thousand, yeah. yeah, I mean, like, that's light why years. <laughs> the one that's supposed to go to the dinosaur is the fucking size of Texas. Like, just the size of Texas hit one part of the fucking planet and wiped out. Dude, like, if it, imagine if it hit the ocean. That's all it's got to do. You want to know what that cannonball looks like? Yeah. You want to know what that cannonball? Hey, I wonder what water looks like when it reaches the, uh, you know, the ozone. You know, just thirty thirty, what thirty three thousand feet in here. Yeah. What will water look like? It would probably freeze at some point. That's what it's I'm thinking. It's so cold and cold, it get to a point. That's freeze. what I think is going to happen. But my point is, this would be the ocean, salt, and all that. And it's oh, it blacks factor. out the sky. You can't see shit. That's what I'm yeah, saying. Imagine if something as big as Texas hit like. The ocean. Dude, it doesn't even have to be as big as Texas. It's as big as a barn. Rhode Island. A barn. A barn sized fucking thing will fuck us up. That'd fuck up a like barn a city. Size? Probably like a city. If it hit a city. No, no, no. My point is this. Houston. We're, we're talking about taking out. We're talking about taking out the world. You're stopping energy. Like oh. moving around oil and, to gas. oil and gas to other like parts of the lower. But I'm saying is. NASA. Dude, I, I, I'm saying if the size of Texas hit the ocean. It's immediately going to come. The, the tsunami wall. is yeah. going to like. The tsunami is going to be so huge. Yeah. It's going to be. It's going to be. Un- it's going to be like that movie Waterworld. Yeah. Yeah. But eventually, that would that would eventually grind back out into the oceans. So it wouldn't fully like completely I don't know. flood the planet. Well, Bro, I, okay, 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 okay. You yeah, got a little bitty thing. ass tub. You got a fat ass kid, it right? Vaporize. It, it would vaporize a lot. Now you got this little bitty tub. You got this fat ass kid. I mean, this kid's like three hundred. 
And it's just like the little kid, you, you know, know how little... water displays. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So I'm wondering, if you throw that fat ass kid in that tub, <laughs> how big, how much water's going to be left in that? Uh, how much? It's going to be one of those That's the kind of shit I'm saying. Do you know how huge it's going to be? It's going to break up, so it's not going to fully, it's going to create a creator. For... No, no, no. He said, he said the size of Texas hit the earth. But that and... broke up. Well, no, he said it hit the earth. It That's did, the difference. But did it make it here? I'm doing it on the ground. Is what yeah, I'm saying. I doubt it. Pen- or I thought it was way bigger America. than that. When it landed, like a piece probably hit the ground. It was a lot larger. Where did you get the view from Bermuda Triangle from? I thought that was it. Ah, that's what made the Gulf of Mexico. Ah. Yeah, because it like hit near like the Yucatan Peninsula or some shit. Yeah, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. So I'm trying to say, so could you, could you imagine that? No, you want to know no, how no big can fathom that. You can't fathom even a close, no. close amount of, oh shit, <laughs> that would hit you, sitting on the shoreline watching that come in. Oh man, we're going to the beach today. That's exactly what I do too. If I had enough notice, like, okay, it's going to be one so big that we can't detour. detour He's going place. on the beach. I'm going to go chill. I'm going to get fucked up, have a week worth of raging, and just watch the tide come in. I want to go to the highest point around me. I don't want to survive that. No, 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 just to be near, closer to it. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be over here. Yeah. Great photos. We're here live at the beach. Keep your ears tight. We'll be sitting on a back room. Laxing poetically about nothing. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, we did the world podcast. No. <laughs> world in the live podcast. Streams. Yeah, live stream to the end. Live stream All of our world. wives will be here. That beating mother. Family. <laughs> <laughs> Just let me know what you need to borrow the camera. Yeah. 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 Oh, there we go. There we yeah, go. Got you. Screen. Got you. Uh, I don't really think that's uh, really going to happen. Just realistically thinking in our lifetime to think that the world is going to end in our lifetime is pretty uh, arrogant. Yeah, every generation, like you've said before, every generation. No, you've said that a couple of podcasts ago. Every generation has thought that they were going to be like the last generation. Like, oh, this is when it's all going to be. Sky's falling. Yeah. Do they prepper I, yeah. I do think that it could be our last time because of our own intervention. That's not fair. of some external force. But it thought that before. You mean yeah. like North Korea and America are going something, to war? Something along the lines. A man if we go made, nuclear, the world goes nuclear? Yeah, there's some bad Let's problems. all go to the fallout. Let's yeah, all go to pretty the much. We're going to go, we'll look like the fallout video game. We're going to get the bomb yeah, We'd be Vegas. fine. We would fuck North Korea. No, I don't think North Korea is the problem. I mean, I think if you had like a lot of co- a lot of countries is. involved. Well, yeah, if it was like a war, war, world war, world war, war type war, thing, not like, like World War Two, when we're all pissed off at a couple countries. I mean, all countries are pissed off. Imagine that. Well, I think we're pretty close to that point. There's still those two sides. Though. Oh, we got these countries over here, and these countries over there's here. There's always there's that. Few outliers. Yep. There's sides, and, and then they'll, they'll pick their sides. And then there's some wormy, sneaky bastards in the middle that we, you know, somebody always plays both sides. Probably us. <laughs> no. We're in it. We got Dude. our little sticky fingers and wow. everything. We're the big wow. brother. I go to Russia in a heartbeat. Some shit starts going all crazy here. You think so? Oh, yeah. yeah. You wouldn't stay and try and fight and fix this That's shit? That's because he's Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> it's the yeah. truth. Uh, I'm dying here. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a born bred American. She I was, was here out in Texas, least, uh, and down here in the town I was born here. I'm just going to let you know, I would leave this bitch if, some, if, if Trump or anybody, I don't care who it is, does any kind of crazy shit, and some shit's going off, and I'm like, oh, yeah, pack your bags. <laughs> We're getting the hell out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I'm say, I, no, it's not that easy. No, the nationalism does not run that game in my blood. I'm oh, I'm not naturalistic, but, like, this is my home. I'm this is my, my home, too. Oh, if something came here, you best believe I'm fighting. But my yes. point is, if we fuck something up... <laughs> Um, and if we did it, and we're about to die because of some stupidity shit we did that I don't agree with, well, my ass is leaving. I'm not <laughs> with that. Come back, <laughs> to, come back 20 years later. 20 years. Oh, this is the new America. Huh? Like, say Trump nukes like fucking Britain or something. Yeah. Like the world hates us and just starts dropping nukes on us. Yeah, yeah I'm out. I'm out, dude. Like, I'm out. Oh, <laughs> you wouldn't have time. Fuck no. They would just launch a nuke. You'd be like, you gotta yeah, go. Get this plane yeah, um, they fucking hit LA, bro. I'm in Houston. I'm out. I got a couple hours. Like, I'm just hours. saying. I'm going to Mexico, bro. Take the car and download the nukes. 
Yeah. <laughs> Take the yeah. car to Oliver News. 100%. I don't know. I think All they do is hit you with machetes. They don't hit you with big ass bombs that they call motherfucking big ass bombs. I'll I mean, take the bomb. I'll take the bomb. I'll bombs take, quick. Machetes slow. Yeah. Think Just about it. Fucked up execution videos in the car. Hey, I went to the I went to San Antonio and I was mm. reading the Alamo and I was over there, you know, walking the Alamo reading that stuff. Mm. My God. And I was thinking about it, like, imagine what it would be like having to be there, like, all right, well, I call 40,000 of these people about to come up here and fuck us up. There's 200 of us. You got your knife? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's your whole, that's your whole plot, process. I'm just saying, uh, you, you got, like, going they, down, they don't like make men, they don't movie. make men like that anymore. No, they do. Benghazi. Benghazi's a crime example. Just saying, they don't make well, it's not that those men were enough. made. It was they don't make enough men like that. Me. You had it was yes. a it was a harder time yes. to live. You had what was to be it? What showed me? It says hard times make tough make yeah. strong men. I shared that. Yeah. I agree with that. Hard times make strong men. Strong men make good uh, times. Good times. Good times make weak men. Weak men make hard times. Hard times. It repeats the cycle. So it's time. Hard times are here, guys. Time to knuckle up. Bro, Get that we're in the again. soft times. Yeah, we're in the we're soft times. We're in the generation times. where shit's about to start getting fucked up. Exactly. But it's getting to that point. So you Our better, grandkids you better are start, be those hard You better start training. Future. You better start getting in there, putting your hours in the gym, dedicating yourself. Because, hey, I think our generation before us is the is the, the uh, workout generation. Them <laughs> people, dude. Talking about the 80s? A lot of the coke generation? No, no, I'm talking uh, about. Say, I'm talking about a lot of, a lot of, a lot of young people I see. When JFK and a lot of young people I see at like, like the gyms that I go to is a lot of young kids, like 16, 17, and they're yeah, all in the gym working, working out. They're all working out. I'm talking about 16s, 15s, 17s, 13. These kids are killing it. And I'm like, how the hell are you working out like this young? Most people don't want to start working out till they're, you know, maybe seniors, juniors in high school, maybe, you know. If you play football, you start Yeah, if you play football and stuff. But you worked out wrong. Let's get it right. Yeah. How many coaches and dipshit-ass coaches taught you how to work out wrong? Yeah. And then you had to go out and realize how to actually work out in real life. Exactly. That, yeah. you know, and being a martial artist and having to learn different kind of uh, explosive strength trainings and stuff like that, I didn't learn none of that shit in school. And them dudes didn't know a lick of shit compared to, you know, the, the kind of professionalism you can find out here in the world. And it's people that didn't even graduate or didn't even go get their They just studied the, the shit out of the human body and the anatomy and how, how it works, how the body works, how it reacts, all that kind of stuff. And that's what makes them, you know, I think those kind of people, you could tell there are separate professionals in the, yeah. that's, that's what I'm saying. But I, man, I wish there was more people like that. How many people do you, name a good nutrition, like good. local nutritionist, local nutritionist. I can't. I can't either off the top of my head. That's that's a problem. We were we were in California. We were in San Antonio. They'd be like, I mean, like uh, California over there. They'd be like, oh yeah, we're in You know, and you know, but we don't have that around here. Why is that? Because we want everything fried and big as fuck. Well, there's <laughs> some we just don't know about them. I think it comes down to passion. People aren't passionate about what they do here. They just really don't give a fuck. Where? In yeah. Texas. In Texas. Yeah, because they change their passions every other week. True. <laughs> that's how the job market is nowadays. Though. Like, mm-hmm. dude, like they're saying, like there's how much of us really care about the fucking job we do, I don't or is it just? I, do. I give a shit about my job a lot because, yeah. well, I've done it since I was fourteen, so this is mm. a little, it's a little different. Mine's a stepping stone, mm-hmm. but they're saying most people nowadays, like our generation, generations after ours, growing up, you're not going to be able to. There's not going to be a lot of like, oh, I'm going to come into this company and work here for sixty five years and then retire with a pension and four hundred one k. It's going to be a lot of moving around. You got to, what do they say? You got to learn unlearn and then relearn something new you're gonna have to go from this company three to four years next company four to five years next company two to three years even if you're not learning the same thing you're getting great experiences doing that expanding the shit out of your resume mm -hmm. yeah that's not what you want to do that nutritionist you're talking about is passionate about nutrition so it's hard to make a living being a nutritionist not a lot of people care but apply it to whatever field you want to apply and, it and, to. And that is yeah. not cheap. Have you ever had a me- try to get a meal plan made for you? Just get a meal plan for a week and go find out how much it costs you to get that done. Yeah. You get back to me. Shit's expensive. And uh, if there's any sponsors who want to be... That's because <laughs> how many people do it and that, that person has fucking bills to pay. So true. Blue Apron. So. Call me. Blue Apron. Call me. 
I'm just saying that I think there should be a lot more. That's a thriving new uh, niche out there that people are not really focusing on. And I think they used to a lot. I think there was more nutritious, more health guru, as they call themselves, out there than there is now. But now there's a lot of them with the bodybuilding and stuff like that. But that's not really what I'm talking about. I'm talking about actual health. I'm talking about you can come to them for many different things like yeah. bodybuilding or uh, weight gain or muscle lean loss or you know those dude, those if we just have fucking actual nutrition people like you're talking about on board in our school systems that would start the yeah I there's probably bu- there's probably a bunch out there that we just do not know about uh, no. you know what I'm saying <laughs> but I've searched and I've googled and they're not there just saying <laughs> unless I want to go to California but then again there's just more regulation more laws more legislation to fucking write every single time there's a great idea there's always like oh but there's laws and then here comes the government yeah. <laughs> oh you can't do this you have to fill out this form and this form and this bureaucracy. form and this form and this bureaucracy form. that's the exact word that is that that sucks and you have to jump through all these hoops and yeah. do you have 19 forms of ID <laughs> no you don't you only have two I need a blood sample well, hey, that, at, that comedy, at that comedy show this weekend, that's the first time that I felt in public that I felt like, and I never felt this before, and it's the first time ever, like I was in a public, in a room and I felt like the room was kind of on the same page. Yeah. Like everyone was on the same page. And the that, Except for those asshole hecklers. I'll tell you the time, I'll tell you the time that. Those super drunk people. Yeah, yeah they were drunk. Uh, they I'll, t- I'll tell you another time whenever that, that's for me, a football game. I remember in my first football game, and it's like I went to go for the home team, you know, and all Texans and we're all decked out. Whenever a Texans make a good play, dude, you even if you didn't pay attention, you felt it. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like in here. It's like whoosh, everything's shaking and shit. So that that's that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about, like <laughs> that. But there, it was like a talking. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, yeah, I know exactly what you mean. You know what he was busting a joke, and everybody felt that. Yeah. And I think, man, that's so surreal. That's so awesome. It's a form of group think that we all give into to be a part of. So that's man, awesome. No, so like we, yeah, we let him take us on a journey. We let him think for us. That's a real entertainer to me. Mm-hmm. It's a real. That's real entertainment. Just like music now to music back then, I think it took real entertainment back then to can you dance to the now? <laughs> you know what I mean? That's kind of what it is now. Oh well, yeah, like fucking people back in the day. There's actors, singers, dancers. Who was it? Who was it? What was, I, I'm sorry. What was the band? What was the band where the guy would play upside down on the drums coming in, and they were all upside down, and they would just play up. I, I, you know, Tommy Lee. From, and this dude is jamming Tommy on the drums and playing, and they're completely yeah, yeah, they're completely up true. fucking side down. So my point is, that takes real, real skill, real talent, real. That's, that's really hard he's to done do. It, he's done it so many times, though. Like, he just knows. Like his okay, arms. Can, can you do it? No, I haven't exactly what I'm saying. But, but that's not. It would take years to do. Yeah, and that's just drumming upside down. If you want to talk about revolutionary, like Jimi Hendrix was a revolutionary guitar player. I still that, that, that I, no, no. I'm saying that that I'm guitar. saying that that time and that era took a lot mm-hmm. more skill, a lot more talent than nowadays. Nowadays, you now can it's put, about showmanship. Yes, it's mm-hmm. a like exactly. That's the best way to put it. It's like how well can you sell what you're doing? Yeah, look at me. Mm-hmm. I got glitter. Well, it's like shiny fucking shit. little. Mm. Oh, fucking little Yachty it hurts me to say his name Literally. how is that guy there's a song I like by him and I can't remember anything. how is he backed by anybody what I like, I like one song you made oh probably. it's garbage on that we're taking a break so I can puke real quick <laughs> one song one song I'm allowed to have one song here <sighs> shitty you get to a point to where it's like coding almost like in a computer CRISPR well, I mean, like, you can literally, like, rewrite the code in your DNA in real time and see it fix itself in real time. Oh, like, you go to the mirror, you got brown eyes, pull some shit up, boom, all of a sudden you got blue eyes. Yeah. Instant. That change would be it. sick. So, like, change your now we're talking just... Now, now CRISPR's yes. doing that before... You've seen Tron, though, right? When yeah. she, like, gets her arm broken, they take her disc off and look at her, like, you know, structuring what's wrong and, you know, pull out the error code and it fixes itself, you know? And her arms just starts to materialize back into itself. That's yeah. insane. Would be but those all were just programs inside of Tron. 
we're still what people, we but we'd have to. This simulation. If this is a simulation, it very well could be. One, it's not the right some kid, I, I started to read some article. I should have read the whole thing, but this kid, was, <laughs> yeah, his kid was claiming that we are in another um, alternate reality because of what they've been doing at CERN. Yeah. Okay, mm. you keep thinking that guy. Now, um, I feel like oh, man, what, how what, can this fix like cancer? Can this fix like issues like that? Is that, what, um, that's that what it said it was going to start to... Well, this is talking about hereditary disorders, so like, there's a little... It just said on cancer, I just read that. Yeah, well, next we'll see if the same approach can take on cancer, heart disease, and other common illnesses. Okay, so they're, that, they're thinking that might be the next step. That would be a... That would be... So these people... Even if you couldn't fix the cancer, just the heart disease, if you could keep your well, heart Heart disease, pumping. a lot of that's linked to like exercise, diet. Of what course. you eat. Yeah. But if you could just physically keep that heart pumping... Longer. You could keep that 106 year old man alive just pumping that heart and then figure out the rest of the other problems. A body but here's a question for you guys. Here's a question for you guys. Well, yeah. Do you think that your body is either you work out a whole lot, it keep like you're keeping it well tuned, you're always using it, it's like a muscle, it's worked out, it's in good shape. That's why you need to work out, that's why you need to do it. Or do you think that it's like Oh, the least work I put on my body, the longer I'll last. Oh, I'm totally with Trump on that one. To let, like, you only get so many beats, why am I going to waste it running? That's why he doesn't exercise. And that's why I don't exercise. You make America fat again. I mean, great again. That's exactly what you're going to do. I'm just saying, this is the right way of thinking, and this, the way you think, is the wrong way of thinking. Oh, if you think I'm serious, so you No, of course, you have to do it that way. No, the better no. you take care of your body, the, the way Trump thinks is wrong. No, <laughs> yeah, on that it's subject, 100%. Sedentary lifestyles lead to early death. It's yes. terrible. Yeah. They definitely look at my body like a car, like a vessel, and I have to like treat it and maintain it, and, you know... If, if not, it just becomes that old rat rod. He uses that synthetic oil. Instead of that original bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, if I could totally change my blood out, that would be amazing. If I could afford that. Well, I don't think you could tra- change your blood out, but no, you could eat. Listen, do listen. That. Well, they here's something that you that. could do that will help like you. Like a fucking oil change. Well, listen, listen. I'm not kidding. I, I understand that's crazy, but I don't ever want that to happen to me. Dialysis, you, you know, run, run, But what? Okay, cryogenics. Cryogenics. It can literally, if you're eating healthy and your your organs are healthy and stuff, and you've done, you know, prepared for this kind of stuff. So over time, of course, um, and every time that you freeze and it pours down to your blood goes into your core. So basically, once it goes to those core organs. It gets new blood coming out of those organs. So well, not new blood. It's the same blood. It's, it's the clean. same blood, but it's cleansed. It's right. like filtered. So through the organs. So my question, my thing is, if you could do that, don't you think it's the same, almost the same thing as transferring your blood? Yes, but it's not. It's different blood. Versus cleaning my blood, I'm getting a whole new blood. A whole new blood. <laughs> you know but whose blood? It? Who's blood? I don't know, but I want baby's blood. Because mm. I figure, like, the younger it is, the better the blood's going to be. You know what I mean? Don't kill the babies. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm just saying, like, I'm, if we're thinking in that term. Wait, I'm not like, getting my blood, blood transfusion. Blood. You can, I don't even know if you can, like, pull a bunch of blood from baby. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm going to need at least three. Hey, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I, think we're, I think we're so wrong on this. So my question is, when I get my blood taken, do I, like, lose certain ounces of blood in my body and it never comes back? Yeah, yeah it replenishes. It, 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 it replenishes, yeah. Your body makes so if you took it all out and you put it all back in, it's you can't good. take it all out at the same time. Yeah, if you take, yeah, if you take it all out, you're fucked. you're fucked. Your body can't make enough as fast as you're removing it from your body. There's a certain level you know of I mean? blood if you lose that much. It's a couple pints. Then mm-hmm. you just point in no return. Yeah. Half gallon, you're done, son. <laughs> yeah, but, uh, cut a jugular or <laughs> do something like that. It's yes, all I'll, get, I'll get a few points uh, from the story on this just to give it like uh, some background and uh, examples. So this... this Kayla and Philip, a couple near Boston, their children, one of their sons was born with a uh, immune disease called SCID skid, and they don't, kids with born with this don't usually live past two years old. So instead of doing a bone marrow transplant, they thought they found this uh, at Boston's Children's Hospital. They found this procedure is very uh, experimental gene therapy. It was attempting to treat children like Levi by replacing the gene responsible for destroying the immune system. So like I was talking about CRISPR. CRISPR is changing the DNA and the structures of that child in, like, utero and, oh, you know, like, early on. 
Yeah. Like, you like, not even in utero, probably before that. Like, you could, like, take an egg here, sperm here, combine those, and while you're, like, looking at them molecular, you like, taking shit out. Well, this kid's already months old. Um, so, they're taking, they're replacing a gene responsible for destroying his immune system while he's already alive. You just going for a treatment. Uh, she was like, I thought this wasn't real. There's no way this could work. But nonetheless, uh, he's flew from their home in Michigan to Boston. In May 2015, days later, Lee Bay got an infusion of the therapy into his veins. He's been a normal boy ever since, and he has even grown larger than his twin brother. Uh, now, a one-time treatment offers a cure for patients. How long has this been? Uh, well, this happened in May 2015, and he's still alive. I'm well, just the, saying, keep your eyes on this one. This shit's growing. It's, it's great to see. Because that's very... Uh, Yo, that kid might transform into a robot... We don't know what we did in the No, DNA. no, I'm not saying anything and like that. And the conspiracies start flowing. I am saying that... They were nanobots, man. It, it, that kid could all of a sudden have something happen to him, and it could be contributed to that. Well, yeah, it's, Later an, exper- on it's an experimental... You ever, hear about people, so. you ever hear about people who had, like, a brain autism or... or uh, I'm sorry, brain aneurysm. aneurysm. I didn't mean autism. Yeah. Brain aneurysm. My I'm sorry. Had one. Okay, a, f- a friend of mine, a close friend of mine had one. And, uh... When that happened, that was kind of like a. You know, it was so sudden. Yeah, you know they I mean? just, just. So yeah. that kind of stuff could contribute to something like this. I would want to know that. You know what I mean? Like that's a, that's a very very uh, rare study. Well, it's a know? it's a rare it's an experimental yeah thing because it's so. How many new. people do you know? Do you know have that? Done. We don't. It's That's new. exactly what I'm saying. It's like this is first. But I would want to start working so far. I wouldn't want to start doing it in mass. You know. Oh, if it's getting good, if it's working, we should start doing it. Like, don't even think it on a mass scale. Think it on a personal scale. Is. Ellie was born with that same thing. Skid. Yeah. You go down to the hospital. They go. We can do this terrible bone bone marrow transfusion. It's gonna be really rough on your daughter. The recovery is terrible. It's painful. And or it's we could just really inject this shit inside of her veins intravenously, and. So a couple days later, she's good. And the, that that one gene, that one part of that fucking DNA structure that's responsible for causing that immune system gets snuffed out. That, what if you give it to your kid and your kid is not revolt that good and he ends, ends up killing you? He was going to die anyway. You take that risk. Right? You take that risk. So Let's kill you now or kill you in two years. Till four. But you get ten more years with your son or your daughter, with your family member. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Life's a risk, and that's the things you're gonna have to. Take I would do again. if yeah. I thought I had a chance to save my son. I'd do bone marrow. Like, uh, you always do that after. But that's, too. A, that's a massive risk in and of itself, yes. too. They Fucking take the a zero gauge needle and stab it into you and suck the insides of your spine out and your hip, and it's not great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they go for a walk or something. <laughs> well, it's either way. Thing, but. Well, basically, what I, what they, what did, what did you want to talk about here? Well, there was that. I want to bring that up, and then uh, I don't know if you heard about the other day, but um, there was that white supremacist meeting, and there was a clash with them and Antifa. So basically, like a point I would like to make is a lot yeah, of people nowadays are talking about like, oh, liberals this, liberals that, conservatives this, conservatives that, from all like the, the darkness coming out of the political sphere nowadays, right? There's a difference between a liberal and a leftist. Yeah. There's a difference between a fucking conservative and an alt-right guy, okay? Like, this shit's happening. Everybody's like, oh, the conservatives are getting crazy now, too, just like the liberals. It's like, no. Liberals are chill. They're not out there doing, well, I mean, I'm sure some are that are following that guys, but the majority of, like, the normal liberal that's more of, towards the middle of that spectrum is not the leftist Antifa fucks out here speech in one way of the political versus this alt-right, just like they're not the mass majority of conservatives. Uh... It's getting conflated, but a woman died. This this guy drove his cr- uh, car, a great Dodge Challenger, into a crowd of like 19 others were injured, and one woman died. Uh, it's being considered an act of terrorism. Were they in the road? D- d- domestic terrorism. He drove it into a crowd. Were they in the street? Uh, they were all protesting in a crowd. I don't know. Do not protest. It was in at a rally street. in a big area, so... Don't protest in the street. It wasn't my nice of a been in the street. It could have been in a parking lot. It could have been like well, overflow a from a lot, campus yeah, into a parking lot. It could have been anything. Either in, way. Nah. I don't care. If you're in the street, I don't care. Sorry. Dude, you're, you're a blocking road. You know, most of those people that drive into those crowds get arrested and get in trouble. It still yeah. can look as a like. That's uh, why I have a screwdriver. Except for the states. What? In my car. What? Take my plates off. 
Oh, I was like, what are we gonna do with this fucking screwdriver? All I'm saying, all, all I'm gonna I say, like, this is get out of the person in front of your car and just stick him a few good times. I'm just gonna say this, man. Yeah, me too. No, like, Damn, get no. Uh, <laughs> I know, I know what you're saying. Like, there's people who are like ridiculous leftists, crazy people, and then there's people who are ridiculous right. And these two just and clash and crazy people oh. in that. But there's yeah, a lot of guys who are like us who are like in the middle. There's le- <laughs> yeah, no, not really. Extremism is uh, usually right good, there. huh? You're a good troller sometimes. You troll people. You like to play with. I that troll shit. both sides. I, I both, troll you, the stupid sides. in both sides. But yeah. I'm I, I'm a conservative just as I would say equally as much as I'm a liberal. I hold this almost as many liberal views about you're things as I do conservative. Liberal, you're more libertarian. Well, liberal liberalism is a fun. It it stems from libertarianism, really. Yeah. But the left hijacked it, and now yeah. it's looked at as a bad thing. But no, no, if you look up liberal liberalism, no, no, no. that came from libertarianism way back in the day. Uh, I think Thomas Paine wrote about that shit. But I think I think what a what a, a liberal, what a, a libertarian, what a Republican, what a Democrat is nowadays is not the same as what it was then or four years ago, five years ago, eight years ago. It's not the same. No. What it is now, and uh, politics has really took a turn and changed. That's why a lot of Republicans are against Trump, and a lot of everybody Democrats is against Trump, and a lot of but a lot That's of people are but a lot of people are with Trump. If you get what I'm saying, there's there a, lot are of, a lot with him. Yeah, you get what They're I'm saying. There's a, so many people. Fighting. They're ride or die. Right. I'm telling you, even when he's wrong, they're ride or die. <laughs> there's so many people. I know he's wrong. I don't give a fuck. Well, the guy driving the truck or the car, he was a white supremacist. He was there with, like, the KKK members rallying. Um, on the other side. So what is the deal? What were they ra- – what, they- what was going on? They were just fighting over, what, racism shit still? So – Wasn't yeah. there a huge-ass war about this? Did it, like, you know, Wait, end, end was this? Was racism war? Was that, was that there was, was a white there? nationalist rally. There was well, a, there a big there war was over a, all this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a white nationalist rally. Okay. They planned this. It was called oh, it was white and then Antifa okay. people showed up to counter protest. So you got the Dude, far right fucks that is exactly rallying like that and the far episode. coming up and trying to counter <laughs> Boondocks <laughs> episode exactly. Bro, so two crazy ass well, they groups said of white up. people. Yes, yeah. two crazy ass groups of white people. I'm, I'm sure on opposite I'm sides. I'm sure there were people of color there too, like probably more on like the left side. That's a bunch of crazy ass white folk for the majority. Yeah, well, that's always what it is. That's that like, is crazy. Most of these people that are talking about cultural appropriation and like fucking uh, rape culture, da da da. Especially when it comes to race, like people crying, like, "Oh, that's racist! Or you're co- culturally appropriating dreadlocks because you're white and you're wearing them." And it's like, "Dude, you're a fucking white person. What are you talking about? You're gonna tell me what I'm doing to another race? Shut the fuck up!" No, if you you want to play that game, because I can't talk about certain issues because I'm white male, I'll play it right fucking back, asshole. See, I think it's crazy. Don't fight. I, I wouldn't fight the fire for the fire on that situation. You I have to choose either. logic. You have to choose logic. See, the thing is crazy is that so many people are game. so quick to fight over shit that you can't change. Ah, correction. So many people who do not know how to fight are so ready to fight about shit. Yeah. So true. Yeah. If they run out of shit to talk about, they're immediately jumping. Yeah. You've yeah. always noticed that. Like, when a person is not intelligent and they don't know how to have an argument or a disagreement, they immediately go to either race card or they immediately to go to, you know... It's all identity politics. It's, it's you know, all you fight it's stupid physical or violence or identity politics. Until they cross that disrespect line. There's, there's, a, little, there's a fine line, you know. There's that, that, there's that line... You can't cross when you're arguing with somebody. Mm-hmm. You can have a debate, you can argue with people, but there's a fine line where you just you can't take it there. You know what I'm saying? I see people dancing that line. <laughs> yeah, I see people dancing around that line. Well, that's how fr- uh, friends end up fighting friends over drunk nights when they're you know. Good segue to my point. <laughs> For real, the Senate is talking about passing a bill to ticket people, passengers, who are in the car with a DUI suspect. So if you're a passenger... If, if That's you, fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's if fair. If you're a passenger and w- with someone in a, who's getting a DWI, you can get a ticket, too. What they what they obviously I think it should be only... What if they won't let you drive? You ever been with a person who's, like, drunk and you know they're drunk and you're like, dude, let me drive. And they're like, no, it's my truck. I got I this. I got this. And you're like, this is my only way home. Me and I'm Jack gonna walk. Daniels will drive the goddamn I'm not, fucking truck. Yes. Yeah, we know those Yes. Guys. 
anyway. I, we I, know. Yeah. Exactly. I've been in a truck with those people. Just, the thing is, one hand over the eye, driving. driving. It's one lane now. You look like a fucking yeah, cat in the passenger seat. <laughs> 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 and then you never go out driving with that person yeah. again. Like, no, all all yeah, I'm I'll, saying, I'll meet you there, bro. I'm, yeah. All I'm saying is, it's either walk the fuck home, thirty miles, or go with this drunk guy. Well, we have Uber now. Yeah, Uber, there's taxi. a lot of yeah, there's a lot of alternatives. So if you're sober, sober I think if you're sober, yeah, you should get in trouble if that law passes. If you're, I agree at that point. If you're drunk, if you're also leaning intoxicated, no, you shouldn't get in trouble. I, the fu- oh, you, I, you don't want him to drive? You, I, I should drive? No, fuck. Like, doesn't yeah. Like that. If you're both trashed, if you're passed out drunk and this dude's driving, oh, he's, he's, oh, he's, he's, off, I just he's oh, all, all like, officers <laughs> already going to take you to jail. If you're that drunk. With the yeah, but really? Yeah, because as soon as you get out of the car, public intoxication, boom, right there. I'll take that over a DUI. Me too, of course. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, no, you're no, still no, getting arrested. I, I don't know what you're getting Just ticketed for, jail. but they're going to start ticketing you for it. That is bullshit. I, you, you obviously gotta, knew. Yeah, you stepped out. You're drunk. Public intoxication. So check this. I had a friend of mine get More arrested. He got arrested more. for being passed out drunk in a car, parked. He was parked in the car. Drunk as hell. There's keys in the ignition? Keys running. So AC's running. He's oh, just chilling. you can't do that. He's here comes the dude. Oh, here comes the cop. God. Walks up. Boom. He's just like, oh, wait. No, he had the keys in it, but there was no gas. So he couldn't go nowhere. That's why he was broke down, because he had no gas. He's just chilling with the windows down, sitting there chilling. You but can't his, have keys in the ignition. His keys were in the ignition, yeah. but he had no gas. The, <laughs> the, law, the law, by definition, that was the the way reason, his keys were in the ignition. Therefore, that, that constitutes as being... DWR. Now, if those keys would have been off and on the floorboard in the passenger seat, dude would have been fine. Yeah. But if it's on and you're like in the back. Doesn't matter. The keys are still in the Nobody's here. I don't know where you went, bro. I'm not driving. <laughs> it was there a second ago. No, no. I think his name was Earl, something like that. Just until we get the fuck in, so I got in, yeah. Until he was sober. Dude, what time? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Where are you going with this this one time? All right. Let me tell you. All right. One time. The uh, names and places of I was people a, have changed for the stories. Yeah. The names and places yeah. and uh, certain events and counties have changed <laughs> for safety of others. All right. In this county where people were <laughs> out at this parte mm-hmm. in the middle of a so-called field mm-hmm. and uh, the so-called policeman, you know, came there. And everybody broke up and we're running, you know, going everywhere. And we're going down the road. And uh, it, it's a dark road, you know, we pull out and, you know, cop pulls up behind us and we're going. And I'm like, hey, pull over. I'm, I'm getting out, you know. The guy pulls over. We all just bail out because he stopped up at the stop sign. So we bailed out and ran out because I didn't live nowhere near but like miles down the road, you know, at the time. So I was just like, I'm going to get out of here. So I started booking it. Got out. I eventually got to another car and got away. The person who was driving didn't get out. Didn't get out of the car. Got pulled over. The cop was behind us. We, you know. Obviously. So the cop walks up to his son. <laughs> this dude punched himself in the face as hard as he can. Swelled his eye up. It was like these dudes hit me and told me to drive and jump me and got my car. And told me to take off. Oh and shit! I just took off and they just hauled up my car and cops went to looking for us. You know, could never find us. We went on their thing. <laughs> he got out of it. Yeah, they, was they let him go home. That would have been kidnapping. I've he literally, <laughs> he punched That's himself. smart. <laughs> smart, but sucks. If they would have caught us. Even fucked. They're like, you got kidnapped in and Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me? <laughs> I kidnapped myself? <laughs> How did this happen? How did we get here? How did we get to this? Uh, I'm going to need a lawyer. <laughs> you know what I mean? yeah. At that point, that was just that. That's what I'm saying. That would have been crazy, mm-hmm. but that right there is that's that, something that happened like that. We were riding down 249, and a guy, two dudes in like a Toyota Tacoma or something, uh, were getting mad at like some aggressive driving in a car. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever, you know. Whatever. <laughs> fucking, they they stick a fucking shotgun out the back window and oh. point it at me and Justin. Oh, they shot him. We yeah, had a gun on us. Oh. That so, that that's uh, terrorist. No, threat. Nevertheless, <laughs> nevertheless, <laughs> we, we change lanes, drop gear, and just fucking leave them. Just leave them in the dust. We get pulled over. We immediately explain what happened. The truck passes by. Cop says, "Fuck it," and goes for them and gets them. Yeah. With open beer containers, weapons, and like crazy shit like that. 
They, so they were like itching for to, to do something fucked up, you know, and we just happened to be the ones and then still get away with it. But that's we, crazy. we we ran a red light and then the cop like we pulled us over and we're like, hey, that's why we ran the red light. It's kind so of a there he goes. That's him. That's actually yeah. kind of a good thing that the cop pulled you over. You just got those dudes off the fucking street Snitching. for at least a night or two. Mm. Well, snitching. Oh, God damn. God damn. Quit snitching. Quit dry snitching. Actually, it was you or them. So. Yeah. <laughs> he should have shot him. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Somebody just. Doctor Strange, like, pull a gun. I'll tell you a story. I'll tell you another crazy story. Check this. I had a friend of mine out in Conroe, right? Uh, he, he was driving down the highway, and there, him and his uh, a group, it was like four Hispanic guys in a car, and just him and his truck. He's driving down the road, you know, and uh, they get an altercation because one cuts each other off, you know, road rage and being retarded. And, you know, he flicked each, each other off. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Flicked each other off, did that shit. One pulled out a gun, and, like, the flash at the end. The other one pulled out the gun and started shooting back. And then they started, you know. Oh, gun but, uh, so, gunfight driving down the damn highway. So, he starts booking it, and they're chasing him. You know, and he books it, goes up behind a house into where his friend lives, jumps out, and runs and jumps into the bushes and stuff. Here comes the car pulling up. In the meantime, the guy who lived there at the friend's house that he pulled up to was coming out of the house. He had about he had two kids and had no part of it. You know what I'm saying? He was a married man, did his own shit, just got home from work. Come out and uh, the dudes came with. They lit him up, killed him. Went what off. Fuck? All those yeah. His his friend watched his friend get lit up and killed right there. Because For him. him because of him because he wanted to play stupid and want to get into road rage and act like a dipshit and start doing stuff. But hey, life happens like that, man. You know. He had no control of who was at what and where was what was going on, but at the same time, I kind of agree with that. You at the same time, to your friend's house that has kids. At there. the same time, and don't give him a heads up. I, 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 like I believe he, he had, I, I believe he had, uh, he had kids and stuff. Maybe he was there. Come out hot. Yeah, maybe he was just married. I don't know. Something like that. Come out, come out, AR, bro. And like, boy, it's time. Get outside. Damn right. AR first. One magazine. As soon as you pull in, just you're like. Yeah, but he had no idea. You know, the guy came yeah, out like, what's that? On, that dude should have caught that guy. That on the bike. Or I just my, dust your ass. Hey, is to go to a populated Hello, spot Santa. where there's cameras, at least. People no, still man. shoot you in populated areas, man. <laughs> Nevertheless, at least there's camera jail. fucking footage. There was a rapper the other day that actually got shot to death in front of uh, a police department. He was what? Of, That's insane. And he was like one of the rappers that like says he was never, he said he was bulletproof in one song because he'd been shot at like, Nine times. Nine times. <laughs> well, the tenth time did you in, brother. Tenth time did you in. All I'm saying is, man, don't ever dance with death. Why would you do that? Young Mozzie shot dead near Atlanta police station. That's not good. Yeah, I mean, he shot like nine different times or something like that. Oh, dear goodness. Hey, I, I never it's think it's a good thing for another person to do. But all I'm going to say is this. I don't think I think that some of those people live that kind of lifestyle live that kind of you know environment and uh, they play that environment they don't really live that environment you know what I mean and then they get themselves wrapped up in stuff that they shouldn't be wrapped up in exactly and uh, you just ain't ready for that kind of lifestyle and uh, those people take your life and those people do stuff like that because there's people out there that will do that and they're not going to think twice about it so it's crazy so be safe be smart. Be aware. <laughs> For real. Definitely be aware. Aware of all your surroundings. For sure. Because if you're not, you know, uh, that's when things happen. Well, no, well yeah, things, things happen. Life comes at you fast, and if you're not paying attention, it will be a motherfucker when it hits you. At least be ready to fit yourself. Try to your have, head. like, some situational fucking awareness when you're out in public. Like, Always. Know what is around you in a 10 and a 20 and a 30 and a 40 foot like zones you know where you park your car dirt, dirt. Mm-hmm. don't go out in the parking lot going beep 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 well there it is watching for motorcycles on the road please stop fucking stop texting drinking. and driving please that's Which worse than please. drinking and driving I think so yeah which drinking and driving is crazy in and of itself that we allow we're, until this point we're not saying that's know, a good thing I put over well over 300 miles on the bike in Houston this no. weekend because it was a beautiful fucking weekend and had a lot of shit to do, you know, and stuff. But sure. uh, the amount of people that I saw texting and driving, swerving, like hitting drunk bumps, changing lanes, no blinker, looking down at the phone, because I'm sitting next to you, looking at you on my bike, and you're just on your phone, 
Whoop, lane change. No nothing. That's exactly what I was telling you. Like, See, I if I would have been in the range of the lane to the right of you, I would have had to like put reaction. Whoop, bye bye. Makes to me nervous. Avoid you hitting me. Oh, that just that see that kind of stuff makes me nervous to ride bikes, man. Like people do not that. think. I can't they do not think about other people's. They're not considerate. Everybody is selfish. Yeah, humanity why. is selfish as a whole. That's True. why you have to make your way. Bunch through. of narcissists telling every other narcissist what they they, they should not be being upset about. <laughs> I would tell you how to control your life because I think it's not right. I'm going to tell you what you should do. We should be able to do to our own body, our own vessel, (laughs) whatever we want. I feel like it is a felony to attempt to commit suicide and fail. Hold on. How are you going to try and take my life? Give me a charge because I tried to take my own life. Like, homie, this is my life. I'm supposed to be a free man, right? Oh, yeah. How am I getting a criminal charge because I tried to commit suicide? I think they should help that individual because you are a bank account and you're trying to end your your life. We need that money. (laughs) Are you serious about that? That That's why they would rather have him in jail than dead. Because you can make money off of him in jail. Well, they get money. Make, yeah. Exactly. That makes sense for that. Prisons are privately owned. That's why you start throwing charges on them. <laughs> Large amounts of prisons are privately owned. That's the problem. We don't have mental health to, you know, facilities anymore. We have jails and prisons. Yep. So, good well, fucking luck. Because mental health things got abused and taken advantage of, and crazy stuff happened then, too. They never but They were experimenting with some shit, and, you know, it wasn't it was done college. right. That's what I'm saying. And it was done right. It's in just some places, the, the results but... were amazing, and they were like, oh, we should have stop that shit. We should do something about that now. We know this. Mm-hmm. It's been proven. Well, for now, I think it's time we wrap this up. We've got about a minute left before oh. this recording stops. Real quick, I'm going to hit you with a few fun things out of history. Uh, 1521, the Aztec capital falls to the Cortez. Invaders, 1781, the Patriots ambush loyalists as French set sail to come help us. Uh, 1902, the rotary engine inventor Felix Winkle was born. And in 1961, Berlin is divided. Shortly after that, uh, midnight on this day in 1961, East German soldiers began laying down barbed wire and bricks as barrier between the Soviet controlled East Berlin and the Democratic Western section of the city. Shit. Mm. Anyway, so it's going to happen here? No, it's not. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't happen. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Bye. Catch you on the flip side. Check you later. (laughs)